welcome back to another video my name is underrated hijabi and in today's video i will be attempting to make a korean feast for iftar the reason why i chose korean is i will give you guys a backstory so one of you lovely followers one of you lovely commenters decided to comment you should watch stephanie so on youtube because she does true crime and i decided you know what let's check out what stephanie so is about what does stephanie so do she eats in her story time she eats a lot of korean food and what happens when you're fasting and you watch korean food you want it and the first thing i will be making is called a jan jan myang it is a black bean noodle i will also attempt to make some korean fried chicken oh my god yeah. i will attempt to make some minimalistic korean cakes and some korean hot dog corn dogs even though i don't like sausages i don't know what i'm going to do i'll see you guys while i'm shopping Ding. so the first thing that i got is these uh rice cake you have to be very careful with rice cake as like mm, the other one had alcohol in it got some noodles um i got these noodles because they're thick noodles and we both know i like i like a bit of thickness in my life <laughs> got myself this uh, japanese it's a hot red pepper paste which is like a really important ingredient got this hot peppered salt got some curry powder like the most important ingredient of it all the black bean paste got myself this drink the guy was like this is like uh the nicest one there that's the korean supermarket done let me show you what i got for morrison i got myself this cake thing because i told you guys i'm making the minimalistic cake i got myself this icing spatula thing I got this icing pack bag kit i have no clue how to use this i got some sesame seeds of course for garnishing I got a courgette what a corvette corvette hopped in a minute and no, no. some organic honey let me show you what i got from the butchers i have i got this massive cabbage Feel like there'll be something inside this cabbage waiting for me like like hey <laughs> all-purpose flour but i didn't know all-purpose flour was plain flour got some chicken breast i got some chicken uh wings it's a lot for 150 right yeah isn't it? some spring roll because uh, you have to this is like a, such a massive ingredient in all korean cuisines got some spicy hot dogs uh, mozzarella for my corn dog got some breadcrumbs soy stock soy sauce and i had to get this massive bag of potato starch because there wasn't a smaller bag i don't know what i'm going to do with this because i don't know what other recipes you can add potato starch to anyways guys first things first i'm the realist first things first i'm the realist really just want to just make it clear like this is korean food but just with a touch of under to the rated to the what to the rated to the rated to the what to the what to the rated to the, to the window to the window to the walls to the walls so i went to the butchers and i got myself some chicken wings okay add a bit of pepper i added a lot of pepper to be honest with you and some salt got a clipper because i'm not touching it i know it would be better if you use your hands but we're not going to do that guys i have decided to add a bit of vinegar the reason why i add vinegar is um i don't know i just feel like the chicken i don't i hate the smell of chicken itself so we're just going to add a bit of vinegar i don't have white vinegar this is just what i do it's, it's, it's your preference if you want to add it or not Let's mix that all in i'm going to be adding some ginger and garlic usually korean recipe they don't add this they would add ginger but not the garlic and then we just add the garlic in and then we mix guys guys so i'm gonna put this inside the fridge for at least an hour I am the one, the way your son don't need what have we bought this is called the magic cooker why because it provides magicness the food I create is magic. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Next thing that we have is our box of ingredients. We call this the box of levitation, elevation, and motivation. Why? Because when I look into this box, I get motivated to cook, to bake, to please, to like, to comment and to subscribe <laughs> anyway guys we are gonna get this video started please give it a like share this with your nan your grand your dad your aunt your nan or the whole shebang and last but not least enjoy so the first things that we do is we get two main eggs and we get an egg yolk we get one of this and we're gonna add some of this too guys we get one of these and then we mix 
the multi-purpose flour and some cocoa powder. We will sieve this. Mix that in. British tea. So add a bit of that. Melted butter. And then we mix. I never thought that cake, making a cake would be this hard. This is why I don't bake. This is why I make simple drinks. I make simplicity. Now we pour that in there. We will put this inside the oven for like 15 to 20 minutes. First thing we do, we get our wok, put it on medium heat. Let it warm up like our hearts warm up when we see the love of our lives melting as we glaze into one another's eyes thinking about our future. Then it gets all blown away by reality. Get your potato starch. One stick. Close it. Give it a mix like that. This will be frying like this. It so this is how it looks like on the first fry. I've turned up the heat. We are going to put this in at high heat until it is cooked. We make the chicken sauce. First things first, we're gonna add a bit of the goji jong, goji jong, hot paste. I've just added two spoons, fake kaja, a bit of that there. Next thing we're gonna add is some dark soy sauce, soy sauce, honey, organic honey, to give it that sweetness. So it tastes like sweet and sour chile. And let's give it a mix. So this is the noodles that we'll be cooking. They're freshly chopped noodles. Um, I don't know what that oxygen absorber is doing in there, but I think it's to keep the freshness. So I have a bag of chicken breast, uh, which we will start off by frying. Unfortunately, in this recipe, they don't actually pre-marinate this. Um, so we're just gonna go with the, that thing called flow. We are going to add this in here, fry it for a little bit, and it needs to be fried. Ow! Place some onions, some courgettes, and some garlic in here. I have now placed the cabbage inside, guys. Guys, so I've added the chicken, I've added the potatoes, and this looks absolutely amazing. Guys, so I've added the paste to the middle. This is the end result. This looks incredible this is the chicken wings as you guys can see i've added some sesame seeds on top and this is my jan jan ming noodle let's give this a go guys as you guys can see whoa wow whoa okay we're gonna give this a go bismillah the noodles are nice though it doesn't taste it's not too it's not spicy at all so i wish i added a bit of spice it's very not spicy at whatsoever but I think when you guys make this, you can make it spicy and be very careful with the sauce because I've added quite a lot. And when you add a lot, it's like it tastes a bit bitter. Mm. Mm. Let's try some of my wings. I've never made wings before in my life, guys. I've just never been that girl that cooks. It looks like stiff. It looks like sticky barbecue wings. Let's go. Let's go. Go for some now. It's really good. It tastes like sticky barbecue wings, but sticky hot wings without like it, it has that texture of the barbecue because I added sugar and honey. Oh, it's so good, yeah. Mmm. You guys can hear the crunch. That's what I like. The wings have surprised me. Like, this is amazing. Like, oh. I can't believe I pay money for this. Oh, mm, mm. It's a peach sparkling peach drink. So it's probably gonna taste like peppy. I don't know whether it's because I was fasting that like this tastes nice. It tastes really nice, like it's like peach. Like, oh, it's actually plum. What's the difference between a peach and plum? One has a seed in the middle, one doesn't. It's like a peach to me. Anyway guys, I will see you guys in a little bit when I'm kind of relaxed. Probably have a shower because I feel really hot. So while this is warming up, what I've done is, so I've cooked the sausages for a little while. As you guys can see, it is done. I've added some mozzarellas to it. What I'm going to do is, my batter is ready. I'm going to stick it inside the batter. Deep inside, oh, just like deep inside the batter. Like that. Stick that on there like that. 
the whole thing. Who cares? It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is, what it is. And we put this, we roll it around. Look at that. I feel like this is going to fall apart on me. This looks like it's crumbling. Look what I've done. Look at this. Okay, it was very difficult, guys. I had to squeeze it in. Like, you don't even understand. Like, sometimes when you watch videos on YouTube and you see the way that people make things, you assume that it's honest and you assume that it's true. All I'm saying, guys, is let's give this a go. I've just, like, squished some ketchup and some um, mustard. Ignore how it looks. It looks a bit wonky, but I feel like it looks all right. I feel like nothing in life is perfect. So let's give this a go, Bismillah. Ah, ah, ah! My lips, my lips. Oh no, guys, oh no, guys, look at it. Mm. It's very crunchy. Um, I think I use the batter that I use for fish. I thought the batter would be a bit more softer, but it's just super crunchy. This is the cake. I know it's wonky. <laughs> it's not that hard. Oh man, what am I cutting? Like, it's when when you cut cake, it's supposed to be soft. I'm really excited about this, guys. OMG, no way. No way, guys. Look at. Mm mm. Mm mm. Guys, look at this. Why does it look so perfect? <laughs> guys, why does it look like it? It looks like a wafer. It looks like a Kit Kat. Bismillah. This is really rubbery. It looks so perfect inside. Hey, but the cake is horrible. Like, it does have rubber. Oh no. Oh no. I hope she doesn't fall. Um, guys, we've got some cake. As you guys know, I tried to make a cake. Let me show you my cake. Shall I show you how my cake looks like? Yeah, go on. Please then. don't, 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 don't disrespect me, okay? That's not that bad. Wait, wait, you are making me, it seem like it was diabolical. It. No, 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 no. For the first time, that's not that bad. That looks like a cake. What the hell is that? No, well, that's not that well, bad. Well, I, but, and even Ian, it was like Ian Robert. I'm not going to lie, the whole time you were talking about I thought it was like slanted all the way to the side. No, 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 no. I've, in I've, the I've, middle. Like, that's what I was eating. Guys, okay. this is my cake, by the way, because um, my cake got ruined. Oh, cheesecake. <laughs> she got cheesecake. You know, this place actually does small portions. They really do. As you guys can see. But it tastes good, though. Mmm. Oh, normal cheesecake, yeah. Plain vanilla cheesecake. Mmm. With chocolate on top mm. and half a broken Oreo. Ah. Would you like it? That's meant to be inside it though. It's meant to be she an Oreo cheesecake. Did you put an Oreo on top and made it into an Oreo cheesecake? <laughs> I mean, cheesecake. Oh my god, that is a plain cheesecake. That's a video cheesecake with two Oreos. Yeah. That's terrible. This tastes good though. Alright guys, it was lovely doing this challenge. I will see you guys on the next challenge. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe!